Wheelchair basketball players from three countries have been in Worcester today. It's part of the build-up to the Paralympics, and the city's university has hosted a tournament involving Great Britain, Canada and Spain. Well, Britain won bronze in Beijing, but as Dan Pallet reports, they'll need to improve to be among the medals at London 2012. <laughs> We have the national anthems, a noisy crowd and three world-class teams going head-to-head. -head. Worcester's Paralympic warm-up event was as good as the real thing and a showcase for the sport. Part of the battle with our sport is if people come and watch it, it is a hell of a game. You come and watch it, you get hooked and you want to come back for more. And as if the crowd, including some 300 school children, wasn't excited enough, Wolfie the mascot whipped them up even further. There's 78 days to go until the Paralympics, it's fair to say. But this event is building the excitement. But among the noise, this was serious business for Britain and Spain this morning, and both are prepared to put their bodies on the line. Britain lost this fixture yesterday, so a gunning for revenge. It produced a cliffhanger. There was never more than four points in it throughout. It was a game when every near miss could prove fatal, and sadly for Britain, it was they left to rue what might have been. Spain triumphed by 49 points to 45. The final seconds brought them joy. For Britain, the prospect of a Paralympic medal is waning. We're a long way from where we need to be, and um, losing a key player has affected our rotation. So it's, it's an improvement, but we're a long way from where we need to be. I think we would have got to lose the game, you know. You just, you just looked at people's faces, we didn't really have to say much, so we lost to them yesterday by a couple as well. So it was a bit of a tough game to lose, but we, we, had, we still had the chances to win the game. The university's links with the sport will grow further when they complete their new indoor stadium next January, and the Spanish team will certainly be happy to return. Dan Pallet, BBC Midlands Today, Worcester. Seems tremendous atmosphere yeah, there, doesn't it? It's, That's the it's fast and furious stuff. Oh, I know. <laughs> and they are very strong, aren't yeah. they? The uh, tournament concludes with the final game between Great Britain and Canada tonight. That's at 8 o'clock, and entry is free. So do get along if you're anywhere in the region. So it could be a night for staying in.